size basketball team. Kurt Thomas will jump it off at 6'9". And Haywood, a seven-footer for the Wizards, controls the... Thomas, good ball handler, and now he'll go try to help on a rebounding. Houston's first shot is up over Jerry Stackhouse. The last time down, it was Houston on a clear out. Pump fake, he got fouled and won, and Houston, when he gets into that shooting for the Knicks. Knicks lead it 6-2. Houston with two field goals already, now has three, six points for Allen Houston. Oh, one thing you gotta do, if you have big time scores, you gotta go back at them as well. Michael missing. Out of Othello Harrington's range, at least to start the game. Wide open three ball from the corner. You're throwing Charles Barkley in that mix. There's a handful of Hall of Famers that never won a championship because of Michael Jordan. Put back by Haywood again underneath and uh, last so far, Sean. Yeah, and I'd like to see him gather himself instead of trying to throw that little hook shot from behind the backboard. Gather yourself powered up. Nice three. Point spot after Mark Jackson left here, but Isley doing a great job the second half of the year. Wide open, and Michael knocks it down. It's mismatch. If you can back Isley down, Harrington to help out, looking for the open man, and it'll be Russell's three ball. Hasn't been able to hit it like he did out at Utah, has he, John? I know, but you see Michael there, still active on the defensive end. Hughes misfiring, and this time, well, misfiring into Hughes' hands. Hughes looking for daylight, gets all the way to the rack. Still a mile away. If you can ever play the kind of defense that Michael did in the half court, then you're talking about a true comparison. There's Michael Jordan, and doesn't that shot bring two assists? Russell is doing a pretty good job of shagging Allen Houston. But Houston got him to the baseline and went right. Well, the thing is, you have to respect his jumping. You got to play up on him. He was able to put the ball on the floor and create that separation, a little stop and pop. There's not a lot you can do. That is a two. He missed his first couple looks. He still continues to shoot the ball. Houston again. Cannot stop Allen Houston here today. Fifth very capable score. Jordan's turn. Could this be a shootout brewing here? <laughs> right thing here. Just milk Allen Houston. Late double leaves Isley open and he nails a three ball out. He's easily big to, been the punisher in this league. Sprewell. This time he shoots a three. <laughs> Measure a guy's heart. I mean, he's come out here, he's played great basketball for him, even though he's a rookie. Lord nails another three ball. Inside of a minute, Michael gets inside a Sprewell and knocks it down. And Michael Jordan now with 26. Yes. Six points. Dixon draws a double. They look for Michael. He'll not get free this time. So Dixon will take it inside the right baseline and one. So one. Dick. So they're trying to establish Jerry Stackhouse early on here since he didn't play a whole lot that first half. And it is Leitner who did it. They have been much of the season. That was a bad pass by Sprewell. And here comes Hughes right down the middle. Got it in one. G. And Stackhouse for the lead. Well, here in the post in practice and in games, not on the perimeter. Houston behind the back. Sprewell at the other end nails the three and the Knicks. Remember, it took Jermaine O'Neal a few seasons if you want to compare those two. Houston's wide open and he drains the three. Now the Wizards Hughes puts it down. The Wizards need somebody to start jab jabbing at Michael again. And Kwame Brown, yes. It wasn't very long. It wasn't more than a month. Michael was starting, playing lots of minutes. Nice pass by Houston, and Harrington wraps it in. Without the basketball, cutting along the baseline, showing some agility and mobility for a big man. Jordan knocks it down, and it looks at Spree well. Just wants to Spree. Came back down offensively. Isley. Over Haywood that again. See what Michael can do is Sprewell doing an excellent job of shadowing him this quarter. Hughes pulls the trigger on the perimeter jet. 
And when you talk about Kurt Thomas doubling, he's not overreacting. He's not creating any gaps for Michael to shoot through. And you see him knock down that. Russell on the line. It's a two. One foot on the line by seven. Minute and a half to go in the third. Houston all alone as Russell falls away. Uh, Russell tried to sell that a little bit. Great pass by Kwame and Haywood unable to finish. He wanted the foul and didn't get it. Houston out high. He's been a load for Stackhouse and Russell today. Up firing again. Yes. Well, Stackhouse saddled with fouls early. He's been unable to get on track. Beautiful block by Stackhouse that time. Stays with Sprewell at the baseline. And here's Thomas. And now blocked by Kwame Brown. And Leitner's got it. He was doing that with Phil Jackson, I believe. I remember in Chicago. And then he would come back in and do this. And that's out. 31. And now the Wizards with another opportunity as 23 brings it to the attack. A firing. Got it. Here it comes, baby. Down to the seven-minute mark. 90-78. And Oakley will try it from the right baseline to make it a 10-point game. Dixon penetrates off the glass. He kisses it. And if finger roll's not there, battle for a big rebound at Stackhouse. Stackhouse got Dixon on the run. Dixon's going to the rack. Yes. Juan Dixon now with about 10 points here in this time. In low, in the paint. Jordan left hand. Yes. Put it down. There's 35. Oh, you see how clever that move was. He sells Latrell Sprewell on the turnaround jumper. And a nice little step through with his left hand. Steal by Jordan. He's got it on the floor. Needs help. Wraps it around. Hughes will track it down, and here they come on the Jordan steal. And just watch the chin as it hits the floor. Forget the basketball for a minute. I mean, flush and hard. Arena that he has lit up so many times in the past. He's had two 50-point games. Battling Sprewell. Sprewell drives inside, and the 24-second shot clock goes off. It's Washington basketball here. A seven-point difference at the 140. Wizards looking for that easy hoop to ignite this rally. Michael on Sprewell rises the top. Not this time. Stackhouse goes for the loose ball. Defensively against Isley. Down inside of a minute. And six on the shot. Here comes Houston, the man they want. Short on the shot. Off Oakley. Jordan to save it. Stackhouse goes for it. And a shot clock a violation. Jordan comes to the garden and turns in 42 minutes. Now the Wizards again looking inside. Here's Stackhouse. No foul. Great play down low. And here's Dixon. Dixon pumping left hand. Stays with it. One Dixon. And uh, Antonio McDice again out for the year at the beginning of the season. Can't say enough about the coaching job. Dixon comes back after missing the two free. Never do that. He had to stay in the Knicks jersey. Now here's Michael. Michael up firing. Fouled. He'll shoot a pair of free throws. He stops the clock. 7.5. Got to be careful with him. And Michael's not missing. <laughs> now. He can make this a two-point game, which he does. Look at Dixon. And it's a three now. Wizards need the three ball. Leitner with a long pass to Michael. Michael's fouled right away by Sprewell. Sprewell's going to put him on the free throw line with 4.2. Not game, Michael Jordan. Special in Michael. 43 minutes. 39. 4.2 now. Pressure. Anderson. The open man is Weatherspoon, and that'll do it. The Michael Jordan era in Madison Square Garden comes to an end, but not without a battle. Michael Jordan, 43 minutes and 39 points, and takes it all the way down to the wire.